What's up guys, this is the Broverman and I am here to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to run off happened last time we pounded the Brits into dust and their other stack to the north, instead of going for Venice, has decided to go south and try to attack Rome. But we do have some reinforcements, let's make sure we organise these chaps to come in in the right order. Um, we are quite fortunate in that um, the reinforcement of the reinforcing, or well, their reinforcing army is very depleted. So even though our guys aren't in great condition, they're still in good enough condition to provide some sort of assistance. And I think that'll probably do. So without further ado, let's crack on. So this will be quite an interesting opportunity. The British power on the peninsula. And I've still got a army to the north ready to move to the French. So, the emergency situation from a couple of parts ago, I'm feeling pretty confident with. I don't think, uh, I don't think we've got any more emergencies in the short term, um, but I do and to the, enemy the British and the French. To smash their way in with siege equipment. So I want to try and hold the street. Oh, Gibraltar. So, big effort's going to come from over there, so let's drop our mortars in the centre. drop some guys on the walls so assaults are going to be a bit scary because we're gonna have depleted units they've got one artillery unit so I'm not too worried about them trying to get any breaches so if I just do this actually I'm not even do this Get the armed citizenry up on the walls. That leaves us four solid units of infantry. Actually, I might put one section here. That leaves us with three solid infantry units ready to respond to any breaches. So the other the other enemy army is coming from the right. There's one coming from the south, weirdly. Some more. <clears throat> I'm sorry guys, I cleared my throat one second. Whew. So. My artillery is doing a terrible job, as per usual. But it looks like they are concentrating their forces up over on this flank. So I'm tempted to take this unit of infantry. Well, firstly, let's move you guys. Take this slightly stronger unit, place them over here. Get this weaker unit, place them over here. Take my line infantry on my, my militia, actually. Let's just put some more guys over here. If they're not attacking down the front, I can just drop some troops here. Especially as this is where my reinforcements are coming in from. So let's march these guys up to form a line. General's bodyguard, you stay in a defilade, ready to move for their artillery. Okay, you are moving. Okay, I want to check who I've got moving into a position. I don't think these guys are. So just push them up. This set of guns can just set up here. Let's keep these guys really out of the way. Put one unit here. Because they are going to... The Brits are going to get screwed up. As they combine their forces, they're going to be pounded. By my infantry. But I want to move you guys along a bit to make sure you man your guns. So they're starting to make holes in this section of the wall, but that's not a problem.
So let's get my get some conscripts to support my infantry. Let's make everyone else run. We'll get my conscripts to support my general, I should say. Start running up my infantry. I have no idea if the mortars are doing any good. They all seem to be missing. My general should be enough to kill these guys. So I've got that's this is an absolute crap load of general's bodyguard troops. If they can kill those guys, they'll move up and take out their artillery and their general. The conscripts going in to provide some support. Let's run this infantry unit up to help support my battle line here. My hope is if I push up, I'll force them into a position where they have to do something. Like, look at that. What a mess. Some yeomanry are moving in. As is a regiment of horse, so this section here. All fall into square formation because it looks like they're about to get some cover more cavalry charging in. Their artillery's about to rout, so our counter battery seems to have been doing some good. Let's push out my conscripts to threaten the artillery. Starting to move up. One of my guys is wavering, that's not good at all. Here comes more regiment of horse. Okay, this is not. General intercept the regiment of horse. Good. My general go and set their general. This infantry move up to threaten their artillery. These squares just push up. This is dragoons. Dragoons have got something to say about my efforts. Let's get my artillery to target the 33rd foot. Okay, let's start getting some troops around the flank of their attack. Let's send some more guys up here to support against. It's not an inconsiderate number of infantry. The flank attack's been smashed. I've lost some of my infantry due to friendly fire. Let's get my general back to safety. There we go. This first regiment of Swiss Guards is about to get some pain. There we go. Beautiful. The yeomanry might cause some problems, but that's why I'm going to hunker these guys down into square formation. My general died, even though he is incredibly... He outnumbers them significantly. They are charging me. Suddenly this push looks a bit vulnerable. So I want to kill their general, because this cavalry unit's already been defeated. Actually, this infantry might form square. Artillery smashing to 33rd foot, so the 15th is actually doing a quite a decent job. When these guys get into formation, they can start to shoot at these guys. Although they should really probably fall back. Let's 
so they don't suffer too much. Okay, let's charge the Regiment of Horse. Yeah, the Dragoons are routed. But as I've lost my general, I may as well just let them be. Oh god, they're really close to my... Island of Warband is that won't be a great unit to have close proximity, although I think we're going to Good. So everyone's set up ready to start to keep shooting at 33rd foot. These troops are wavering, so make them fall back to the cover of their infantry on the wall. Having a, great, having a great time against their cavalry. My infantry is starting to attack the 33rd foot. But they're also getting some artillery support. As these guys push forward, they'll start to be attacked by men on the wall. English, the British are sending even more men. Good, 33rd foot have been eliminated to form a new line. Ready to face the militia. Reorganise my infantry. Keep pouring fire into the Highlander Warband before they close distance. Let's form a new battle line and bring this reinforcing regiment into position while giving our general, well, our general staff units an opportunity to execute the Highlander Warband. As new British units march to battle. Cavalry in the back because they're being a, they're a bit upset at the state of affairs. These men are in a good position to start to just pour fire by rank into the flank of the enemy units. So let's push up the field, reorientate my guns to attack this unit of Swiss grenadiers bring my general up here to start to cut down some of these men. I did catch some of them. I do like I haven't had to use any of my reserves yet. They've just been sat in the centre, happy as a clam. Uh, they've lost, taken some damage. Mm, doesn't matter if we take some pot shots, I just want them to run through. Yep, this unit of foot line units come back. Just keep going, just keep running. Ah, pity. Should have ran the wrong the long way around. Hold my new line. Bring these guys up to the corner here. He's come back. charge him in because he's now confident. So who's all the way back here? Some militia, some militia and some artillery. The pikemen have moved up and they've been pushed back. Just move these guys along. Let's get my conscripts in to help help out. Ah, the 
8th Regiment have come back. So these guys form a new line. Or they might all actually attack while my artillery hits the Irish Regiment. Oh, some pikemen have come back. I'm going to hold my artillery fire because I think it's probably not helping at all. Let's run my general's bodyguard away. Let's try and make some headway against some of these retreating troops. I'm still getting shot at my artillery. Saw off this regiment of militia. Or one last unit of militia. Got some pikes before the walls. Damn, they got that was absolutely they got absolutely smacked by that artillery round. The bayonet charging, the madman. Absolutely eviscerated. Chase them down. One last unit of militia that's come back. These guys are ready to engage, although they're not engaging in fire by rank, which is funny. Come on, you fellows, finish off those Irish scamps. Okay, let's bring in my reserves for this. To march on the guns. I'm going to assume my general will be busy mopping up the rest of these troops. Hey! Let's do this to make sure these guys don't get in a position where they'll get shot at. Okay, you guys fire it off, artillery fire it off. Set those guys to march after the guns. While I just carefully orchestrate the destruction of as many units as possible. Two men left, one. So it's just militia left. Although I suspect they're probably going to rout. Well, at least, well, they definitely are going to rout. So I might just go straight for the guns. If I can kill the gunners, that would mean more than killing their. than a, a, a militia support unit. That's for darn sure. Hope they're all dead. But a successful the British from Rome. They've been significantly damaged and they only have a thousand men remaining. And let's see what direction they go. North and south. So they're still dangerous in both directions. Unless they're going to try and pick up. Oh no, they've reorganised their fleet. But they're not attempting to um, withdraw their men, crucially. The Austrians are still alive and kicking, so that's good for me. So I want them to hold my flank. Fear not, Spain. The Romans are not finished with you yet. I think the Prussians have got Petrus, by the looks of it. 
They've done some some uh, diplomatic shenanigans with the Venetians. And no way, they could have done that. I'm That's a peculiar one. Oh, we'll find when it's my turn. Although it is now the time of the majestic Ottomans to just waste time. But that actually blew past pretty quick. My focus is going to be on repelling the forces in continental Italy and then pushing them back out. Ideally, striking out Spain to take Gibraltar to secure my flank. Or to secure, secure my territory from any marauding Brits that may wish to sail there around and attack me. land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms. So let's take my rake. Let's send my rake to Madrid. If that's going to be, going to be my first war target. So where's the first place to defend? You guys are doing pretty well. You guys are pretty strong. You, they may as well go after these guys because they're the nearest. So we are losing lots of men, but I think the gains are going to be worthwhile. And I'm questioning if it's worthwhile moving two grenadier units down to Naples in case they feel like they want to try and attack. Because I don't think they ca they can't really pass. Well, they can't run around my run around Naples and get to Rome in one turn, so I think this is the smart decision. Also, don't want to do any investing where they can destroy it. So let's repair the House of Representatives in Corsica. Enrico Cabotto. You're almost fully replenished, so let's start to get some attrition onto the French. Because they're already pretty attrited. Upgrade Milan to have a governor's palace, but I don't want that. Could get wineries for Corsica. Also wineries for Rome. And also an ordnance factory now. Four turns away for fire by rank. So we've got our grenadiers, but we've sent them south. Wait a minute. So this is a general died. Oh, it would have been my... Wait a minute, you're not Mariano Casanova. Well, you're a Casanova of sorts, you sly old dog. See what you do. Steady hand. I bet you've got a steady hand. Turns out, though, something of a blade. Something, something. Stick it in him. Uh, not very clever. <laughs> Let's get him to Bologna. Good, we're not to turn off of researching fire by rank. So I really hope Austria doesn't screw me. Yeah, Prussia do have Patras. Come on, Britain. You want to rescue Richard Savage? Because he's about to get savaged. You stay where you are for now. Recruit more men. I can't get any more true. Try a trade with the Barbary State. I mean, okay, no, actually, no, I don't want to do that. I was about to trade with them, but then I realised, obviously, North Africa's prime, prime real estate. Uh, 13 colonies. Just Let's just trade 13 colonies. Let's just trade. To be honest, Britain, let's try and make peace. I don't want to make peace with France yet, because they've got my land. Yes, yeah, so I want this army, when they've destroyed and finished all their matters here, to sail and land and invade Gibraltar and sec secure the straits for our purposes. It might also be good to start courting the Portuguese as a potential ally. Ah, you can blockade me as much as you like. Your troops aren't getting away from me. No siree. Ooh, 
the French are sallying out. Let's do this, France. Let's see what you got. They got absolutely nothing. To slaughter the French. I mean, I really do want fire by rank. When I've got fire by rank, I need to, well, I will exploit that tech advantage. So, bottleneck. Yeah, this is a bit of a bit funky for defense purposes. But I got plenty of cannons. Trouble is, though, where do I want? I can't deploy too far back across on the reverse of the hill. That's pretty much made the effort of wanting to come up and capture the the rise. Could be uh, they'd be better to do with howitzers because I haven't got to rely on rumbling guns to get into position. Although I could do something like that. Could make. Could work. So you guys hold the line, and the rest of my army trundles up to secure this upper position. So let's get these papal Swiss guard moving up, and then the rest of my infantry is a reserve. Bring out my dragoons, and my pikes can stay here, and my general can move up too. This is really bad position. <laughs> so the infantry that was my reserve, they can now... Yeah, that's really bad there. Just run my infantry into position now. The general's pretty safe where he is. Get my artillery to start to smash into their artillery. Well, that's what they're already doing. If the cavalry wants to try it, we've got some boys with jabby sticks who would love to meet them. We can start engaging the 22nd Regiment of the Swiss, uh, Swiss Line Infantry. The 22nd Regiment of Foot. Go get him, spiky boys. Supposed to do the first the first bit of damage. So these two guys that are currently deploying are way out. Actually to all of them except for that depleted unit can actually do something like this. Artillery stays on the move. The stabby boys keep chasing after them because it looks like they fancy it. They might do a lot of damage on the charge, but once we get into combat. Oh no, we've eviscerated them on the charge. I was concerned that my soft, squidgy looking boys in leather coats might get into problems on the charge. I was wondering if that became a fundamental weakness of the pike. Send my pikes to carry on their adventure. Let's get my demi cannons to change targets towards their infantry. Go get them, stabby boys. Just catch them, just catch the corner. No, they just got past. And limber. Got one guy got stuck behind, so they're probably going to lose their trailing team. 
No, oh, nuts. I haven't even turned fire well on for these guys. No wonder they're having such a terrible time. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got, I got cannons in my turf. I have spikes. I've done nothing. So folks, I'm killing their gun teams. Their existing infantry will just get eviscerated. Swiss Guard is badass. Folks on the gun teams. My spiky boys are still having a great time against their cavalry. Okay, switch these guys to cast shot. Get them to start picking up bulk of their infantry. One artillery unit to start blasting this flanking unit. Let's bring back my spiky boys ready for a charge. Which I may even. Enemy general's been killed. Let's pull these units back so they can start to get more cannon support. run. Don't run ahead of them, the uh, spikes. So start to advance my men forward. As long as they run downhill of the guns, that'd be fine. So I want to kill this guerrilla unit just because there was no one else to kill. Then go off the Swiss line infantry. The Swiss Guard would also be nice to kill. Go, go, gadget spiky boys. Okay, we'll send them after the Swiss Guard just to make sure they don't escape. Bear in mind, Gerald's bodyguard is charging. Form square, damn it. Flanders Infantry Regiment is now charged in. The Line, in line in 10th Infantry. Flanders. They're being shot in the rear. So my pikemen are going to make short work of them. Just as my cavalry are going to make short work of these Swiss Guard. forward. Don't give them a platform to reform. One guy left. Swiss line infantry is going to escape because I want my army to head, want my cavalry to head west. So artillery keep firing round shot. The Swiss grenadiers. Allegedly they are winning, so let's send my the 9th Regiment of Infantry to charge them in the rear. They're concerned because they're being attacked in the rear. Let's give the Swiss Guard, they're all together. Sprint my general down because he'll soon start to get involved in this mess. Kill them. Kill them all. I forgot my 
my Swiss guard. Give my general one to the Swiss grenadiers. Come on, lads. Keep killing them. push these guys up lest they feel interested in chasing my cavalry around the field. So obviously I want them just to leave my cavalry alone to do the grizzly job at hand. But let's speed up time, because right now this battle is over. Absolutely continue. Okay, go after this unit because there's only five of them. You guys move up and start chasing after the Swiss Grenadiers. One man left. Kill this horse artillery man. I could chase after them, but they're in the city, so they're probably going to escape anyway, because it looks like they're already making it off the map. Let's get both cavalry units to chase after this single unit of Swiss Grenadiers. Nope. Come over here and kill them. Because they're, they're going to get off the field. Well, they might. Let's just kill this Grenadier first. And these guys are going to rout, but that's a devastating blow to the French garrison. Close victory, that's not close. No way. We lost 800 men, which granted is a fair chunk of men, but they lost 1,800. No good sending in your reinforcements now, France. Your armies are broken. And in comes the Austrians to help me out. No, wait a minute. I think they just they prevented or they opened up the French fort. And I do not like what the United Provinces are doing. Don't even think about it, United Provinces. Don't even think about it. But yes, our positions on the Prince are secure. Another day. Doesn't seem like there's going to be too much of a risk. At least for the next five or so turns. I mean, I've absolutely jinxed it and something's going to happen. But our economy isn't terrible. We've got enough armies on the field. To defend we want to defend we are slowly putting up a garrison force in rome to act as a defense force so that means we should be one army continue on our, on their adventures a trade port in your home region has yep. been blocked i can't do anything about that fleet. so who are they sending some european mercenaries swiss line and another unit of line <laughs> Replenish your armies, men. Everyone needs to replenish. They need to replenish what they've got. Even combined where necessary. No, but I need I need all of these individual units. Servo vostro, signore. I'm not gonna be tempted to draw these units into this army yet. Um, but I think that's Actually, how far away are we? Two turns. Cool. That's quite a good, uh, good point to end the episode because I've gone over the limit. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for another episode of the Italian States. Cheers, everyone.